Hello bros and welcome back. So today, now this week, I'm talking about this week. I've seen few YouTubers make this video before and I wanted to try it as well. For day one breakfast, I wanted to start off with something very easy and simple. I poured some water in my favorite bowl, then added the ramen in it, then I microwaved it for two minutes. I had one banana while waiting, then I added the seasoning, the chili flakes, mixed it well. Added a fried egg for protein and it just tasted comforting. It's around 8 p.m. right now and ramen is the last thing I really want to eat now but 24 hour of honey, I cannot give up already. My kitchen is not the prettiest. It literally polythene jolta se I don't even know why. It's my mother's kitchen. I cannot question anything. I can only use. Here it is. This is the ramen we'll be eating. Mama Oriental Kitchen OK Ramen. I actually bought this from Bangkok. So at first I decided to boil the noodles, then fry some onions, garlic, fry the noodles as well. Added the sauce, the sauce that came with the noodles. The noodles were a bit undercooked, so fry corpor on a shop to hege silo, but it's okay. Then I fried some sausages and few pieces of beef from beef curry. What? Then scrambled an egg, the amount of oil. I was so disgusted by the amount of oil, but I added some veggies to make it a bit healthy. Yes! balanced diet bit not gonna lie i was very happy with how it looked and it looks like a proper meal so i know the noodle is good but i don't feel good about eating this much sodium in a day with this much oil and i'll wash down all this unhealthy food with a more unhealthy drink why is it, is it not focusing yeah it's a mark Good morning. <laughs> it's already 6.50 and I have a class at 9. So I have to leave my home by 8. So we have to hurry up. Let's go. For today, I am choosing this ramen. Mr. Noodles Korean Kimchi. This is Korean Pai. I love his vlog. As I didn't have much time, I decided to go for something very simple and easy. Obviously, the first step was to boil the ramen. Then transfer it to a fry pan and add the seasoning powder. Then add a fried egg for protein. Just look at my one hand egg breaking skill, bro. The egg looks so pretty. This is probably the best fried egg I've ever made. Yeah. This is the most good looking egg I've ever made. 720. It's not the best ramen I've ever had, but it's good. But it tastes the same as the normal Korean version of the Mr. Noodles. It's not kimchi, obviously. I had kimchi before and it's definitely not kimchi flavor. Yeah, so something I got to know is that one of the difference between ramen and noodles is that noodles are thin and ramens are fat. I'll try to eat better today. This is day three and yesterday I didn't eat anything after having that much noodles in my university. So I'm very much hungry. Given that I'm eating ramen for a week, so I'll surely try to have some chicken. Found this already seasoned frozen chicken inside my fridge, so I decided to defrost it in my oven. Today I'm going to cook this ramen which I got from Bangkok obviously. But the problem is I have no clue what flavor it is. So I don't know how it is going to taste, but I wanted to do something creative with it. So my idea is that I can make ramen bologna with it. Just like spaghetti bologna, but I'm using ramen instead of spaghetti. And for the sauce, I'll be using chicken instead of beef. So basically, for recipe, ulta di cheap. I finely chopped few tomatoes, then stir fried the defrosted chicken. I added some garlic to it and stir fried it again. Then I added the tomatoes. Slowly, it started releasing some liquid. Then I added some barbecue sauce, disaster I know, soy sauce, 
more disaster. I mixed it well and added the sauce that came with the ramen and then the seasoning powder. Mixed everything nicely and added the noodles. It ended up looking so sad. It looked nothing close to a bologna. It just looked like stir fried noodle with tomatoes. It doesn't look good at all. Tastes okay. Very tangy. I can taste the chicken. The spices that came with the noodle smelled a lot like that specific smell from Thailand that I do not enjoy that much. So I did not use much of it, like all quick to the sea. I can really taste Thailand in it. I have some fresh mango juice. I am literally dead. It's 10 p.m. I guess and I'm Ishara Dine finally proper khabar khabo. I will make a ramen fried rice. At first we'll cut some veggies. I found this capsicum in my fridge so I chopped it into small pieces. Then I finally chopped some tomatoes. For the fried rice I'll be using this indomie baladi chicken flavor noodles. I sorted the vegetables while the noodle was boiling. Added some onion, garlic, then the vegetables. Mixed and cooked it well. Then threw two eggs in it. Scrambled them properly. Then slowly added the boiled noodles. One day old rice. Then added some tomato ketchup, jitter bear hot chilona, some soy sauce, the seasoning uh, chili flakes obviously some cumin powder and mixed oregano then i mixed everything properly and cooked it for a while which i forgot to record but then i decided to make a sauce to eat with the rice at first i added some mustard sauce then two spoons of mayonnaise then one packet of prawn tomato sauce and grated one garlic in it i fried three pieces of nuggets and decorated the rice with the sauce it looked really good delicious ah This is probably the best creative version of ramen I've ever had. I know that I'll make this again. Da -da -da. Shop place. Looks like I peed myself. For the next day, I'll be making some bibim guksu. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's a Korean dish and I saw it in a reel and I was immediately tempted to make it. It looks so delicious. But obviously I do not have all the Korean ingredients in my house so I'll make it in my own way. I'm using two different types of ramen, the OK ramen and the Indomie one. I boiled them properly and transferred them into a bowl then added all my chopped vegetables and I realized I had to borrow bowl like bit. So I transferred them into a bigger bowl. The vegetables were finely chopped capsicums, tomatoes, cucumbers and carrots. Then I added the ramen seasonings, some chili flakes, white pepper, oregano, cumin powder, dhunia gura, aro chili flakes, chaat masala, rani masala chilo ita, what the hell, and shori shatel. I literally went crazy with the seasoning. I mixed it well with my hands. I'm sorry if you're feeling disgusted, but it ended up looking really good. But we had one problem. It was so damn spicy. I added chili flakes twice without even realizing and it burned everything inside my mouth. So I boiled some more noodle and mixed it well to bring the spice level down. I'm not even kidding when I'm saying that this is really good. With all those spices, there's no way it can go wrong. My camera... I was saying that my camera will die at any given moment and it did die. Noodles are achar khachi mon hachi in a good way. It's obviously because of the mustard oil je. Achar achar lakpas. I think I'm eligible for a keka fair to see show. It is 5 a.m. right now. I have an exam. Achi ke 9.25 air class And I think I'll be leaving at 8. This Mr. Noodles chicken flavor cup noodles. I just added some hot water and the seasonings and avoided the tomato ketchup obviously why would they provide a tomato ketchup with the cup noodles doesn't make any sense but mm, it tasted very unhealthy yet comforting i'm going to make grilled cheese ramen i'm super excited for this so let's go I think it will be my lunch plus dinner because chocolate breakfast core bear ho si ek to agashla. For this recipe, I'll be using this bulldog cheese one for the double cheese flavor, you know. I bought this huge chunk of mozzarella cheese and chopped it into small pieces. I am not a big fan of cheese, to be honest. I, I, I just don't like the flavor of it. 
I boiled the ramen, added the samyang sauce, then added the cheese powder, mixed it really well, looked delicious, took two pieces of bread, placed a huge chunk of ramen in one of them and added loads of cheese pressed and sealed everything with another piece of bread and grilled the sandwich on some hot butter until it turned golden brown. Made another sandwich with double layer of cheese, first egg layer cheese, tarpur egg layer ramen, tarpur egg layer cheese. Then grilled that on hot butter until that turned golden brown as well. Here's a bit sad cheese pull for you. No cheese pull actually. I don't know what went wrong. But this tasted delicious. I loved it. And and look at that cheese pull, bro. It was really good. 10 on 10 for the crunch as well. The spiciness was perfectly balanced by the bread and the cheese. It was amazing. We are finally on the last day, the seventh day of the one week ramen challenge and for breakfast today I decided to make some ramen in chili oil. First I grated some fresh garlic, then added the seasoning, some chili flakes and heated some oil and poured it over all the ingredients. Then I added my noodles in it and mixed it properly. It ended up looking very red and tempting. Added some chopped cabbage and a fried egg, obviously. We are back to being healthy, bitches. This looked so pretty and tasted amazing. Probably the best ramen breakfast I've ever had. Why is this so good? I can't even explain how good this is. This is really good. Later that day, one of my friends took me out to treat me for her birthday and I ordered ramen. It's a very low-key restaurant in Uttara named Graba Kappa and I don't eat it but my friend told me that their food is good. And the ramen surprisingly tasted really good. I don't eat ramen ramen The broth was perfectly tangy and spicy. The noodles were perfectly cooked and it was loaded with pieces of chicken and mushroom and corn and a full boiled egg and this is the end of the video i forgot to record a proper outro for it i just finished editing this video and it's been so long since i posted a video and i'm really sorry for that but a video that i am shop take bishi para khat chilam because it are it are just almost 10 hours long clip jama hoy silo to eta edit korte amar jibon ber hoye geche and also amar ekta non exam cholta silo but finally i mean time niye i finished editing oh this there is a camera i finished editing this video and yeah the next video will be a study vlog so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching i had so much fun making this video and i hope you enjoyed it as well leave a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see my next one bye <laughs>